So we're here at CB2012 here at Value Plus, and uh, you're showing these devices. What is that? This is uh, our new, the newest uh, HDMI uh, dongle type of the media player. So we just the uh, name of the title with uh, just another smart TV, which means is a. Uh, uh, already people have just LCD regular TV, yeah. but maybe they don't have a smart TV uh, the functions. So we providing this module to connect to the behind of your regular LCD TV, and it support it just uh, transport to your old TV. So it says transform your old TV into a smart, smart TV, TV with a fizz, uh, Tisbird. Yeah. What is Tisbird? Is your brand? Yeah, it's our own brand, and, and it says here uh, 4.0. Everything support is Wi-Fi inside here. Yeah, this is a built-in Wi-Fi, yeah. and also uh, we will input in IR inside, and it is uh, based on uh, Android 4.0 OS. So but this is so small. Yeah, we are targeting on the uh, small, easy to uh, portable design. So yeah. people just uh, if you have uh, this device, you can yeah. bring this device to your uh, friend's home, and then you can connect to your TV, and then. I mean, contact, uh, connect to uh, his friend's TV and then enjoying any some uh, some Android application games. So or the power is a mini? Yeah, for the power? with a USB mini power. And this is for hard disk? Yeah, for hard disk. Or USB stick or yeah. something else? And also, yeah, USB. Uh, yeah. You can just connect uh, with USB. You can yeah. connect your external hard drive, whatever. So if you store any contents on your external hard drive, you can connect it with a USB and then you can play yes, back and every hard disk. Yeah, every hard disk. NTFS, FAT32, yeah, FAT32, 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 everything. Yeah, it is working. And it's for real. It's not uh, mock-up. It's actually connected now. Uh, yeah, this is working mock-up at this moment. Working mock-up? Yeah. So our design will be a little bit minor change when we do mass production. Yeah. Because uh, we need to uh, check every different uh, yeah. TV companies uh, inside uh, behind the design. Yeah. So we are working on now. Yeah. So it's just standby now. Uh, I'll show you now. So which remote control do you use for it? Uh, <laughs> we have uh, we, we have two different launcher. Yeah. The customer can use it, but we didn't decide yet. Uh, but we we going to uh, give uh, these yeah. two optional. The launching uh, option yeah. or not, but you can use uh, our just own uh, the remote control. What is this uh, technology? Just uh, infrared. No. IR. 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 Yeah. Where is the receiver? Uh, inside. We, yeah, inside. But this one is a working mock up, so now we are using external IR. IR uh, right yeah. here. But this IR will be, will be inside. inside. Yeah. And so this is just a remote control for ice cream sandwich. Yeah, ice cream. Ice cream what sandwich. can you remote? What can you do with it? Uh, for web browsing, the movie playback, uh, the watching video, in the VOD service, anything we can do it. So let's go on a video. Yeah. Uh, this one is a walking walk up, so we can only show the some. Uh, menu at this moment. What is this? This is uh, our the, the, the main GUI for yeah. the Kisper. So we support the 3D UI. This is Android 4? Uh, this one is a 4.0. Yeah. 4.0 on a Telechips, Telechips. 8803? Uh, no, 8925. 8925? Yeah. Which is Cortex A8? A5. A5? Yeah. A5, not A9? Not A9, A5. So, this is a new one, new chip. Yeah. Very new, right? Yeah, very new. So what is a megahertz, a gigahertz? Uh, 4 giga NAND flash. 4 giga NAND flash, and how fast is a CPU fre frequency? 800 mega. 800 megahertz? Yeah, as I know, as I 800. I can do every video codec? Yeah. 1080p? 1080p, and yeah. H.264, H. Yeah. and we support AVC for the AVC code, all the bands. Nice. Codec. So, how soon is this on the market? We are targeting to launch it for next month. April, next month? Yeah, middle of April. Yeah. That's soon? Yeah, very soon, yeah. And uh, how about these designs over there? They're also the same there? Which one? Uh, you make in here the same? Yeah, this one is the same, uh, but this one is uh, using uh, another chipset, but based on the telechips. 
Yeah. But uh, we are we can uh, uh, this one is uh, now a uh, 2.3 uh, gingerbread uh, platform. We are using it now, but we can operate with a 4.0. 4.0. Yeah, by soft, uh, software support. And you do NAS also. And this one we also we have also NAS. So as a NAS in the market already now? Oh no. Not yet. Launch, yeah. Okay, launch. So what is gonna be the price? You mean this Less. one? Uh, we didn't uh, flip this side yet, but we need to check. But we are going to make the aggressive price. What do you price. think a good price would be? Forty-nine dollars for for the market price? Ninety-nine, forty-nine, uh, one ninety-nine. Sure, that uh, less than one hundred USD. But less than one hundred USD. Yeah, uh, customer price. Customer so, decide. Yeah. Customer. This is so cool. Thanks. Thanks for your compliments. Ten. Uh, how about? Um, are you thinking about using Google TV software? Uh, is that possible if, if, if it's open source? That one maybe we need to check. Uh, I'm not sure that part, yeah. Because it would make it easier, no, to use Google TV software no. than Android for the smartphone, you know, the OS. Well, there's a, there's a, we need to check for the, so some more detail because uh, we are using Android platform, but uh, about the Google TV part, we need to check. But ours are uh, uh, focusing on for the movie playback and then some uh, full web browsing and then uh, uh, high definition audios pass through those kind of things. So we, uh, I think the European customer will be interesting on our new product.